So I'm really excited about this new year. I was researching why we celebrate the new year, but I just kind of sat there and I just thought about it. I'm driving so my phone might move. Mm, it moved right there, great. But I just, I'm really excited because first of all, I can't believe that this whole year has gone by. I mean, that's so much time, 365 days in a year. That many days have passed and to see all of the things that I have been up against um, as well as the beautiful things that God has blessed me to see. I'm just in shock that I still have my right mind. I'm in, I, I, I just, I'm speechless and I'm just so thankful too that God is allowing me to enter into a fresh start, a fresh year. I didn't make all the right decisions. I've even tolerated some things that I should not have. I mean, when it comes to myself and just when it comes to other people. And so the decisions that I'm making, like it's not going to just be a, a year, new year resolution. This is going to be a life changing decision for myself. I'm, I'm too old. I'm too mature or to a place in God where I mean, just a place in life, too. I'm not going to tolerate some things. There are just some things that I will not tolerate. Um, I'm not going to argue with people and be taken completely out of myself. I'm just not going to allow anything. The moment I feel weird energy or weird vibes or negative vibes, I'm going to remove myself from it. Because so many people are dying. So many people have died in the past year just because they stretched themselves too thin. They didn't say no to people they should have said no to. I mean, I just realized, and it, it's some dumb things that I've done and things that I've done to myself because we're always quick to blame things on people. But if I say sorry and if I correct what I've done wrong to somebody and if they don't accept my apology, the only thing that I can do is move forward. Because I, the moment I said sorry, the moment I realized my wrong, the moment I um, admitted to it and just, you know, really remorsefully apologized and genuinely meant what I said, that the moment I did that, I released a burden. And I forgave myself and hopefully that person forgave me but if they don't I have to move on with life I cannot carry that on so this is gonna be a lot of decisions that I'm gonna make if there are some ideas and some dreams that I have I'm gonna follow through with it I'm not gonna do so much talking but I'm so excited and I'm just so thankful to God that he allowed me to get through 665 days and it all went by so fast so anything that occupies my mind, my psyche, anything that is detrimental to my health, my emotional health, I'm removing it because I just, I'm thinking about the people that I've allowed to occupy my mind. I wasn't sleeping at night and I'm going to sleep. I'm going to get some sleep because if I'm not sleeping, then I can't dream. I can't creatively be who I am called to be. So I've learned a lot this year, and I'm so excited. I look a mess, but I'm so excited. And even that, I'm going to embrace me with no makeup on. Like, let's get it. If you're too busy, I mean, of course, I'm going to keep myself up, but I'm, I'm a working woman, and I'm just blessed to just have life. I'm going to celebrate that I'm changing a lot, and I, I'm not just going to talk about it. It's a lot of resolutions that I just said, but I'm going to make some life-changing decisions for myself, for my unborn children, for my wherever he is, my soon coming husband. I'm just, I have to make myself well emotionally, mentally for the people that I'll soon be responsible for covering. And then just not that, but the people who are listening to my music, I can't transfer that toxic mess to them. I'm so ready for this. I just feel like my bishop has been talking about the shift. We're shifting and moving into a year of manifestation. He said that everything wasn't going to be peaches and cream, but just a lot of things are going to be fulfilled. It's going to be things that we're going to no longer just be speaking, but we're going to feel it and touch it. And I'm just so ready for that. I'm so ready for it. And I want my life better. I just... I, I was just praying like, Lord, I want to get it right. I don't want to struggle with the same sin. I, I want to do what you've called me to do. I want to live this life. And I don't want it to just be a song for me. I want it to be something for real where people come in contact with me and they're just, 
their strengths, their their gifts, their talents, they, they're awakened the moment they come in contact with me because of the, the power of God that rests within me. I'm just so amped about this. I'm so, I cannot wait. I can't wait. I hope you're inspired and I hope you all have a blessed year. And um, let's get it, 2016. Everything that I've been dreaming of, praying for, let it manifest. I mean, in its absolute just I just want to touch it and if it's not in God's timing just let it be one step closer to whatever it is that I've been dreaming of let's get it don't judge how I look I hope you were inspired Mwah. one last thing I forgot I'm gonna tell people I love them I mean I may seem really mushy and all of that but if I love them I'm gonna tell them if I if I'm if I appreciate them I'm gonna tell them they need to know that tomorrow's not promised to any of us and if I feel the the unk, I think it's the unction or the inkling or whatever you call it but if I feel something nudging in me to give to someone that I have never met a day in my life I'm gonna do that I'm not carrying any weight during this year including this physical weight I'm gonna get some of these pounds off by the way I lost three pounds no I didn't but no I lost um six pounds so thank you but yeah, I'm just, let's do it. Let's get it. I'm so excited. 2016, God is amazing. My life will be better spiritually, physically, mentally, emotionally. This is just about to be bomb. I'm going to be integral with my finances, my money. going to make better decisions. If I do something wrong, I'm going to learn from it. I'm not going to beat myself up about it. I'm going, God and me, we are the life coaches today. I mean, just, just period. Let's get it.